Welcome to Dexter Plays Arc Evolved. Welcome to How to Arc. We're going to do some taming of a Dilophosaurus. Dilo. Um, to do that, there's a couple of things. If you watch the uh, basic guide of gathering meat and hide, you should have enough meat right now and you should have some hide. Both of these are going to be required for what we want to do. There's two things we're going to want to have. This is a level 5 or above. Uh, you want to make a slingshot, and you want to make a mortar and pestle. If you look underneath your engrams, you'll see that at level 5, there's the mortar and pestle. And there's the narcotic. You want to learn those two things, and of course the slingshot. Okay. To make the slingshot, go ahead and jump into your uh, craftable selection. Uh, the mortar and pestle is going to take 65 stone and 15 hide. I've already made that. The slingshot... It's going to take a, a bit of hide. There it is right there. It'll take five wood, 20 fiber, one hide to make that. Once you've made that, then you can go around mashing your key, as I mentioned, in basic resource gathering and get yourself a number of regular stones for your, for your slingshot. So I'm going to get 10. 10 should be plenty, unless I, I'm, I'm horrible at shooting. Now we're going to want to make some narcotic. You can do this with just narco berries, but it is more efficient to do it with narcotic. And narcotic is going to be your go-to for quite some time. To do that, you need to place your mortar and pestle. Place your mortar and pestle, you'll see you need some kind of a floor to place it on. So I've made a thatch floor. We looked at that on a basic sheltering. So we'll drop that there. Pink. We'll drop down our mortar and pestle. There. And then once we've learned the narcotic, if you open up the mortar and pestle and go into consumables and drop into drugs, you'll see there's narcotic. Narcotic takes five narco berry and one spoiled meat. Got some, nar some narco berries, got a piece of spoiled meat, and you can see that I can craft it. When I select this, it'll let me do a craft item. One other thing you might want to note, because this is actually going to be helpful for you as you move in. Let me grab a little bit more. Do you have any other spoiled meat? Yes, you do. Excellent. Thank you. Here, have some, have some raw meat back. When I do this, and now, now when I dig down into the narcotic and click on it, you can see there's a new option down here that says craft all five, which obviously means I can make five narcotics out of this. So it's really handy to be able to go through and just say, make me everything you can. And as it grinds away, it'll give you some experience each time it does that. Um, there are some of the bigger dinosaurs on the island that will take hundreds of narcotics before you can get them tamed. So clicking once for each item is going to drive you bananas. So this way you can dump a bunch in there, click use remote item, go away, do something, come back, and there's the fifth one. Okay. I'll take back my spoiled meat. Hey, Robert, hold on to this. Quick note, if you put food uh, anything that will spoil onto a dinosaur, if you look at this, this spoils in 15 minutes. If I look over here, this spoils in 6 minutes. The spoiling rate on a dinosaur is much slower, so it's it's actually kind of advantageous to do that. Put your berries and food and the like on the dinosaurs. Now there was a dilo over here. Uh, there was a girl. Where is she? A uh, water. Hello, Miss Dilo. I know you're, you're probably hiding up here in the, the bushes, aren't you? Come on. Got a couple of stuck dinosaurs. Oh, there's one. I don't think it's the same one. But hey. So we're going to take our... Or slingshot. If you hit the left key, you can kind of aim this way and it's centered right in the middle. Or, if you look at the left hand V of the slingshot and see how I got him right there? That actually is, is a way to aim. So watch. I'm pretty close to hitting him. Um, th there. Whoa! Get out of the way. Now, I'm, I'm set. Boom! Hit her in the head. Two shots put her down. You can use your fists as well. So now what I can do is go up and just like we did with our dodo bird, throw in the food of choice, which in this case is raw meat. 
I could throw in a narco berry and, and take her down that way as far as bringing the toper down or I can use the narcotic. The narcotic gives you, I believe, 40 toper, which is why it's useless to use on a, a dodo bird with a max of 30 toper total. It's, it's overkill. So then we just sit there and we wait, and as she eats, her taming will go up. Oh, there, see, see how that taming went up? So this is going to be your first actual dinosaur that I would expect that you would want to tame when you're playing Arc Evolved. Great for um, defense. You get three or four of these guys following you around uh, as they level up, and they can protect you from other dilos, uh, even a trike, uh, some of those other more aggressive creatures. These guys are pretty good at defending you against, especially if you get in there and poke them with your own spear from time to time. We will upgrade from dilos uh, in the future, but at this point in time, there. This is your this is your uh, their bodyguard. Take them. Uh, once you have them, and while she's doing that, I'm going to go over here and grab my my uh, raptor, which is your next one that you will be taming as far as uh, defense. And when you open up the, the bar here, you can see that there's a number of options. I've got a saddle on them, so I can ride them. Otherwise, you can just access the inventory, put things in, pull things out. And, of course, their weight capacity is going to be much higher so that you can be using them to carry things around, change their name. To unclaim them means that you're releasing them back into the wild. Uh, this enables following. So if I click on that, now you can see that it says following Dexter. So now if I walk over here go back to the dino that we're taming you'll see that my dinosaur is following me okay next step where mm, where are you there you are how you doing keep an eye on the toper 50 percent all right more options so then we get the aggressiveness or set the aggression cycle in this particular case if you set the cycle if you set it to passive like this no matter what hit is hitting you, the dinosaur will just sit there and watch you. They will not defend you. If you click on to attack your target, if anything hits you, they go after it. That's what I would recommend you keep it on, is attack your target. That way, uh, they won't attack anything that's nearby, just because, but they will uh, attack anything that comes after you. Now let's check her toper, see how she's doing. Alright, so I'm getting the E key, go in here. So if you're watching, I use the Narco Berry. It'll bring it up eight points, right? If I use a narcotic instead, you can see it goes up much further than that. It should go up 40. There it is, 40 points. Okay. You should be able to get away with about a stack of raw meat on a dilo, depending on how high a level it is. The higher the level, the longer it will take to tame. You can see the taming effectiveness is now already at 50%. So let's take a look at our options again while we're, we're going there. So we can do enable wandering. Wandering just allows them to move around the area by themselves. Uh, in this particular case, I'm going to tell her not to follow me anymore. Now she's just going to take a look. Hey, what's in the water? Going to go over here, see what's over here. So they'll wander around. Um, depending on how fast they are, <laughs> it may be harder to catch them back, but you can use the whistle commands to get them to stop and start following you again. So in this case, I'm going to turn off wandering. I usually like them to stay where I put them. The exception is, is I have a chicken coop where I let all the chickens wander around inside. It just looks a little bit better for me. Uh, this is victim item collection. So in other words, if they eat somebody, do they, they pick all their stuff up or don't they? So in this particular case, I have them uh, enabled. So she's going to grab whatever happens to be on the target that she eats. And this is the targeting range. So how far away does something have to be before she goes after it? Um, if I just let her... Uh, if I set this to aggressive and I set her to wander, she would wander around here killing everything that she saw. Could be handy if I wanted to collect stuff for me. So we see the tamings coming up. Dilos are pretty, uh, pretty quick to tame, just like the uh, dodo bird. Of the dinosaurs, these are the two that are the fastest to tame. Um, and again, this is going to be your first one for defense. Another, another uh, comment here. Um, again, females will lay eggs. Uh, the Dilo eggs, I don't remember what they're used for. They're used for one of the, the mid to higher range uh, dinosaurs. 
They don't drop them all that often, but if you can get a bunch of females and one male to have them mated, uh, you can also start to farm eggs. Eggs actually erode pretty quickly. They'll they'll uh, they'll turn into nothing in no time at all. Just like this one will decay. It spoils in 40 minutes. So if you do get eggs, throw your eggs on one of your dinosaurs and let, let them be stored that way. It's a little bit quicker. And here we go. There's a new Dilo. Uh, hmm. Grapes. There we go. So this is our new Dilo. Click on her and we can pull back our stuff. Couple of things of note. Don't put on more meat or more narcotics than you need to tame them. In fact, don't put in more than you need for your current time that you're going to spend with them. If you end up spending two hours to try to tame a dinosaur, and for some reason you get dragged along too long and you come back, everything that's on them is gone if they wake back up. So don't store all your stuff on a, on a dinosaur you're taming. Instead, store all your stuff on a nearby dinosaur like I have on Robert. And then just keep ferrying food in, food and drugs into the dinosaur as, as needed. With that, we have completed the taming of a Dilo. This little guy here, since he's for defense, when you, when you level him up, my recommendation would be to level up health and melee damage. I like to get melee damage to 300, health to about 400, stamina to 150, and then I start pumping health some more. So with that, have a good time with your hunting. Take your Dilo pack out and have a, have a blast. Thank you for joining Dexter Plays, Archivolt. Thanks for watching another episode of Dexter Plays. Please leave a like or subscribe and post any tips or tricks down below.